The Hollowoods have received a giant update. We're gonna go exploring it right now. Experience the updated Hollowoods area and all the revamped races. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. Now you can do a championship every 30 minutes. Look at this championship schedule. So now you can do each race multiple times a day. And now we've got it going all the way until 1130 at night. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Star Stable. Oh, wait a minute, I take that back. It's all day long. You can now do it even at midnight. So for us night players like myself, it's perfect. So I absolutely love the new revamped schedule. So now you can fit the championship into your schedule. Oh, that's so exciting. All right, let's go check out the brand new Hollow Woods. You can see it right there. And by the way, thank you for your comments on the video I posted earlier about the new gingerbread horse and winter horse that are coming to Star Stable. I was reading your guys' comments. Should we take the path? Maybe we should take the path. Okay, let me go back on the path. So this is as if we're riding in from Fort Pinta. We're just following the path like normal. <gasps> oh, it looks like a very lush forest. Oh, there's something right here. Is that a little well? Oh, look at that. The dirt road even like stops and turns into like this little dirt path. Okay, where is it gonna lead us? Oh, it's a little sign. Oh, this is so exciting. This looks so good. <gasps> look, look at this beautiful sign. I love this little detail. So this is how it looks right now. We've got a second river, so it splits off. So this is the Silver Song River here, but now we've got more river here. And look at all these different pathways for us to explore. This is probably where the rune stones are right here, where this little swirl is. The Druid Training Arena. Okay, well, let's get exploring. Veildale Village this way, Silverglade Village that way. Hollow Bloom Hideaway, that's new. Look at how twisty and curly these trees are. The roots are. Oh, I wonder if this light turns on at night. Let's check settings. <gasps> it does come on. Okay, as you change the time of day, the lamp will turn on. Look at it at night. Okay, I'm going back to the day so we can see all the detail. There's little carvings in the trees. You have to jump over the fallen log. Okay, what is over here? Okay, we're going off the path. We're going off the path. Ooh hollowed out tree right here. Leaves covering this stone perfectly. This looks really beautiful for like running around as a wild horse. There's a little path here. Okay, I'm, I'm already kind of lost, but that's okay. That's okay. You cannot go wrong no matter which way you go or turn. All right, this one they're calling the Golden Lily Shallows. Oh, thank you. We can finally cross over now. Wait, can't we? Can we? Can we cross over? Oh no. No, 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 Star Stable, please let us cross over. I feel like if you go at like a, the right speed, you might be able to make it over. <gasps> Look at the waterfall. Look at the beautiful waterfall in the mill. Got this big tree right over here. Oh, it's so beautiful. Mushroom covered tree. Uh, should we go this way? Okay, maybe we'll go this way. This is so relaxing. You're gonna have the most perfect trail rides here. Oh, you can collect stuff. Oh, look at the moss now. When you collect it, now it's way more obvious that you can actually see what you're collecting. Okay, please let us walk around in the water. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we're above the waterfall. <gasps> we're right over the waterfall's edge now. Should I jump? Should we jump into the water? We're going for it. Woo! Oop, <laughs> okay. Let's try sliding down it again. There you go, you gotta go slow, but we just now jumped down. Oh, okay, they really need to remove the swimming timeline there. Like, it's just too short. It's just way too short before it takes you back to shore. Oh, <gasps> hello, look it, we've got some friends. Hello, little foxes. Oh, they're so cute spinning around. They're enjoying the new Hollow Woods update. Very cute. Oh, I wonder what other animals we're gonna see. <gasps> okay, look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. All these like little tiny little streams that we can run around in. This is very lovely. Oh, it's very glowy down there. Let's go check out the summer home up here. So we'll take the path all the way down. So it still looks like it's burnt down. Oh, good. And they moved one of the races too. So now it's over by the summer house. All right, the burned down summer house. Wait, that's not what this is, is it? It says Hollow Bloom Hideaway. It's not the burned down summer house. This is something else. Maybe there's a story with this. Maybe it is the burned down summer house. I mean, it's in the right spot, isn't it? I think it is. I'm surprised we're not seeing so many animals. Oh, wait, I take it back. There's a squirrel on the log. Hi. Oh, and there's an owl behind me. Hello, beautiful owl. Owls are so gorgeous. They're such beautiful creatures. Oh, here we go. This is like now the animal park. We've got rabbits here. Even more little squirrels hanging out over on the roots. Anything in here? No. There's some fencing here. We can cross over here. 
You can cross the log. This is different. Oh, we've got some beautiful ravens up there. And this is how it looks now from the Everwind Fields. <gasps> I mean, look how lush that is. That's a lush forest. I love how big the moss is now. It's so giant. It's actually on a rock now too. There's another beautiful raven. Hello. Even more squirrels. Here's some picnic spots. The glowy, glowy lily pads. Okay, this tree has a little light lantern. Let's do the time of day. There we go. So we've got a little bit of night light glowing. Ooh, look at the mist in the water. When you play at night, you can see that glowy mist. Some nice little fog here. Some more moss. There's another waterfall. <laughs> with a cute little rabbit enjoying the waterfall. And look at the little bees. Oh, hello. Can we jump into the water? Oh, Star Sable, please let us go swimming with our horse. Hopefully that's an update that they will work on very soon. Oh, look at the cows. The cows are even coming over for a cool sip of water. Okay, we must be getting close to Veildale then, now that we're starting to see cows. So let's go back to the main pathway. You can see it right here. Oh, which there's actually another pathway that actually turns into this little cobblestone road. Oh, which splits off. You guys, there's so much to explore. You can go down one pathway, you can go through a dirt way, you can go off the trail. There's just so much. There's a little fox here. Oh, this is nice, a little bench. with a little wagon filled with flowers. Okay, so this is where we were headed before whenever I crossed into that path. So this path leads straight away to Veildale. All right, and this is what it looks like now whenever we come into town. We've got the race here with Sophie. Oh, she got an update. Look at her, she got a glow up. She's now like the new characters. Two little squirrels and it looks like we've got a new character to meet right over here, but we can't meet them just yet. So this is Winna Sunbeam. We can't click on her yet. We're getting a lot more gameplay in this whole brand new revamped area. So I'm sure she will have something exciting to say. Is this a new NPC over here? Oh, there's, there's new characters all over. Oh, hello. Yes, look at all these new characters. So We've got him here. Clothing that we're probably, oh look, there's a little sneak peek of a new saddlebag and saddle coming soon and new clothing. Here's a new character right here. Look at her name does like a reflection in the water. Do you see that? It reflects. Wait, there's another new character down this way. Hello. Oh, it looks like we've got a brand new crafting bench area. This is probably where we're gonna craft more outfits. Oh, I clicked on this person. I'm not quite ready to show you the gardens yet. I promise it will be worth the wait. Well, thank you. Wait a minute, could I click on everyone else? No, I can't click on Jade. There's gonna be a new shop here. All right, and now we've made it into town, which they did revamp. They took out all those houses that were here. I think this is a beautiful improvement. We've got a little garden here where they're growing food. Okay, it looks like Farah is still here. This all looks the same. Let's go up this way. Whenever you go over to the druid training paddock. Oh yeah, look at the rune stones here. This is looking really good. This is like a kind of a subtle update up here. This looks great. Go up into the training paddock area. Okay, this all looks the same. So this is unchanged, but this is different. We've got a little pond over here. Okay, this way goes to the observatory up there. And then now we can splash around in the water here. Okay, only a little bit. You can only splash around a little bit. You gotta kind of stay on the shore. This still takes you to the observatory up here. Yep, okay. So it takes you all the way up. Good, this isn't tangled with all of those mountains anymore that you couldn't really go across. This was really blocked off, but now there's carved pathways through all of the rocks. How do I get down? Oh, right here. With this little bridge to go over. Oh, that's another waterfall. Let's go down the waterfall. Go down the waterfall. There we go. I feel like I didn't even explore like half of what it, there is here. And we still need to check out the other side of the Silver Song River too. Let's run over here. This is where they used to have picnic benches. So it looks like now it's just a riverbank. They removed the picnic tables. Ooh, this is pretty. Go underneath here. This is nice that you can just cross over now. It took a long way to cross the river. There's a little fox and her babies. Go over the little bridge. <gasps> they actually put in a little mini bridge on this side. It says Avalon's Meander. Is this where Avalon lives now? Oop, collect the jute. Where's Avalon? Should we go back up this way? Okay, let's go back up this way. Cute little rabbit. Okay, I didn't see Avalon, but let's go where his actual house is. Oh yeah, oh, I like that they did this. Okay, they did remove the Veildale Championship just for now, but they said it's coming back next year. So I like that they actually made it visually like obvious that, yep, it's closed for now. Okay, Avalon is still there. Everything looks the same here. You can still go shopping for horses here. This looks unchanged. Okay, so now we can cross here like normal or you can cross here now. Okay, it's a little hard to get through. Might be stuck. Might be very stuck. Oh, there we go. Now we can cross through here and now we're back on the other side. And yeah, what is this little pool? 
This is just beautiful. Did I miss this? With these giant crystals coming out of this runestone? This just looks amazing. All right, let's officially cross over now. It just has like more of a lushness, I think, to the area. And I just love that there's like even more open areas that you can just like go over. And of course, the fact that you can cross over the river now is perfect. All right, what's in here? Where does this path lead? Oh, rabbits. I see some rabbits. We can go up here. There's a raven. Just kind of like a little hideout area up here for you to just kind of explore. Another fox. Two foxes right here. Little cabin out here. Someone's house. Oh, I love the little bridges. I love the little arch bridges. Two riders enjoying the waterfalls. Oh, we've got somewhere to go over here. There's an owl up here. It says this is Moss Root Grove. Oh, this is like a remembrance spot. There's flowers and candles. A stack of books in here. Do the candles turn on at night? Oh, they do. They light up. So that is very beautiful. And then you can make your way all the way to Fir Grove. There we go. And it's done. They did such a beautiful, beautiful job. I'm gonna go back into it. There is so much to explore, so much to see. Let's take this little pathway. I love all the water that we can finally just stand in. Oh, there's another fox. Oh, this is a little dead end here. Your own little private cove area with the foxes. This is beautiful and it'll be really exciting to see what other game features they add. If we look at the next next up in Jorvik roadmap, it says magic has reached the hollow woods. The forest is ready to reveal its magic and secrets to you. Head there to meet Winna, the new druid who will guide you, which that's the one that we just saw, one of the NPCs. You will need her even if you've explored the woods already. Find the magic in the woods and connect with it to gather light. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be Black Friday too. Don't forget about about that. The bazaar is coming back next week. And then the last week of November, it says continue on your path. There is more to discover on your path in the hollow woods. Gather the light to unlock more perks and rewards. Have you seen the magical creatures? Maybe you can get closer to them this week. There is going to be so much coming into this new area. Let's cross over here next to the waterfall. Look at this tree with its own island. So thank you so much for trail riding around with me. What did you guys think of the new hollow woods revamp? Was it too much? Was it too drastic? Is it just absolutely beautiful? What are fun little things that you have spotted and seen? Let me know and then we will go horseback riding in my next video. You know the horse crazy fun never stops here. So subscribe, join the family, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.